Nikki and welcome back. I am so excited to be back. I am sorry about my impromptu hiatus from YouTube. Life got crazy. I know that sounds annoyingly vague, but honestly, a lot has happened in the last couple months. Just in my personal life, a lot of good stuff, but just a lot. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen a lot of the events that I have been a part of, that I have hosted. Life has been great for both me and my friends and family. And I am sorry that I was away for so long, but I just, I wanted to be in the moment and be able to enjoy everything. So, in the middle of all that craziness was my birthday. I am now 27, 26, 27. I'm 20 something. I'm not 30, I know that much, but honestly, once you're 21, yeah, I just don't care what age I am. I mean, I have a feeling that 30 is gonna be rough, but we're not gonna talk about that. Any hoodle. My birthday just passed, and for my birthday, I splurged and got myself a little present. The week of my birthday, the Laura Lee Los Angeles Nudie Patootie PR Bundle went on sale. I snagged this bad boy as soon as I saw it on sale and it actually came in the mail on my birthday. It was just, it was such a magical moment. In this video, I will be opening this bad boy up, showing you everything that's inside. I will be using everything, going over pricing, and just a good old first impressions and review. All right, but before we jump in, I do just wanna say, and I will probably say this for every video that includes some type of influencer's product, whether it's a collaboration or their own brand. In this video, I am not judging Laura Lee as a person. I've been watching her for years, she's great, but that's a whole other subject. I am here to judge the actual makeup. Whenever I play with this palette, I am not even going to see the name Laura Lee. I am judging just the makeup alone on its quality. Because that's what my channel is about. It's about the makeup. It's not about, oh I hate to say it, but it's not about, you know, the current tea in the beauty community. It's not about what this person has done in their personal life. It's about the product, not the individual. So, with that being said, if you want to see my unbiased review and a tutorial on how to get this gorgeous, neutral, smoky, mashed potato eye look, stick around and let's play with some makeup. Ooh, mama, it has been a long time since I've sat in front of these bright lights and it's gotten to the point where I'm no longer conditioned to stare directly at them for hours on end, so just, I'm probably gonna be looking like this for the majority of the video until my eyes can readjust to my setup, but whoo, it's gonna be rough. And I am going to do my best to not to ramble in this video because I want it to be as short as possible so it can be up in time for Black Friday in case this goes on sale. But y'all, I feel like a real, like beauty influencer, like this is the PR package that influencers got whenever the Nudie Patootie bundle first came out. Now, first thing is first, I do believe, you'll have to check Laura Lee and Laura Lee Los Angeles, but I do believe that they no longer have the PR box, which I'm so sad about because this is just so stinking awesome. They do still carry the Nudie Patootie bundle, it just no longer has the box and therefore it is a lower price but I'll get into all of their pricing a little bit later and I will link, of course, this down below in the description box, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna keep this package forever because it is my first PR package, even though I bought it. And it's so pretty, it's right up my alley. I mean, it's just, it's rose gold and it's got the, you know, reflective wording and I just, oh, any hoodle left about the box. So this is the Nudie Patootie Bundle Set from Laura Lee, Los Angeles. So here is the bundle in the box. It does come with a very cute little card with information about everything, which, ooh, does this have pricing? No, it just has, um, ingredients. I'll just have to do my homework. With the Nudie Patootie bundle, you do get the Nudie Patootie eyeshadow palette and then three liquid lipsticks. Um, they are in the shades Jaybird, Nakey Nakey, and Topless. And I am so excited because I am just, I am all about just neutral, you know, run-of-the-mill, smoky eye, potato eyeshadow. Like, I, I love just neutrals and browns. They're just, they always go so well. They're so easy to do, and I just feel like they're the most flattering, and that's what I wear every day. So I am so excited to try this because I feel like this is going to be a great everyday palette. Andy Hoodle, enough for So I'm going to pry 
these out of the box and I have not swatched these I have not dipped into it which I am very surprised by because I actually bought this whenever it went on sale like the beginning of November this was my birthday present to myself and I have managed to keep my claws off of it for what two three weeks now I was a good girl this month and I did not get into this package but although I can't get into it now I can't get the liquid lipsticks out alrighty so we're gonna do some Swatcheroonies, even though I wore a long sleeve sweatshirt because it's fall and I must dress accordingly. So here's the actual Nudie Patootie palette. I love the packaging because it's so simple, but not too simple. You know, it's got a little bit of zhuzh. And here is what I assume will be the new love of my life. I mean, just, ah. Oh. You've got your base colors, you've got your transition colors, you've got gold, you've got rose gold, you've got pinks, you've got browns. I'm actually really loving this yellowish color called Strip here. It's a nice little pop in there that I feel like would be really good for transition stuff. So let's go ahead and do some swatch rooties. Ooh, okay, these feel very soft. Holy free holy, it's Batman. These feel like butter. So we have Stark, which is the first one. It looks white in the pan, but it's actually a really nice shimmer. Um, this will be good for like brow bone highlights, and of course I'm so pale that you can barely see it. Then we have Undressed, Topless, ooh, top, the shimmer's nice, and Streaking. And the last three on that row are Uncover, wow, Strip, and Bare, wow. So I am pretty horrible at swatching right now because of these ridiculous nails. But I mean, even the mattes are going on super, super solid. Like, I mean, oh, I'm not gonna have enough arm for this. So now we have Exposed. I think this is a pressed glitter. This is Au Natural. And look at that, wow. And then we have Reveal. And that's not a bad swatch. That's just me not being able to dig into this pan with these nails without ruining the whole thing. So I'm being really careful dipping in. And then we have Jaybird. Woo! Look at Jaybird. But Jaybird and Au Natural, they feel wet whenever you dip into the pan. So I'll have to look to see if these are pressed glitters or not. They feel like it, but they don't like crumble on your fingers. You know what I mean? Whenever A lot of pressed glitters that I've encountered, they're gorgeous, but whenever you press in, it starts to crumble a little bit and it just kind of disintegrates on your fingertips. But these aren't moving very much, which is awesome. And then we're gonna get some really cute um, elbow swatches here. So now we have Butt Naked. I'm gonna give Butt Naked another go because I don't think I dipped in enough for that. Yeah, like I keep saying, it's not the palette's fault. I can tell it's me with these gosh darn claws. So that was Butt Naked. And then we have Buff. Woo. And then um, I guess, my elbow is gonna get nakey nakey. Hi Zoe. Although that is just a horrible place to swatch, I'm so sorry guys. Even on my ashy elbow, that went on beautifully. I mean, look, look at these colors. The mattes perform beautifully swatch-wise. I mean, they go straight on. And I mean, the shimmers and the foils, oh my gosh. I am in love with this color story. I feel like this is just such a staple theme, which I know is what, you know, Laura Lee was going for, and it's just, oh, I love it. And next are the liquid lipsticks. The Nudie Patootie Bundle does come with three, and I am interested to try these because I am kind of wary of liquid lipsticks simply because I am so dang dry. I mean, year-round, my skin, my lips, I mean, everything from head to toe is just really, really dry. But of course, now that we are in the winter season, you know, it's the week of Thanksgiving and it's already starting to get cold down here and my skin is not happy. I am taking all of the measures I can. I am exfoliating, I am moisturizing, but I still look like a scaly dragon lady if I'm not careful enough. So liquid lipsticks in general just come across just really, just dry and cakey and crazy rusty looking on my lips, but I've heard really, really good things about Laura Lee's line, so we are going to try it out. This is the color um, Nakey Nakey. This is the lightest of the three, and oh wow, that is just, I mean, just bam, pigment. This is more of a like brown kind of nude, but it's got a slight pink undertone, so it's not just falling flat, so that's a really pretty color. Next we have Topless. It looks like this will be slightly more pink. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty. It's definitely more of a like mauve color. 
that is gorgeous. Wow, I figured that the last one, um, Jaber, be my favorite, but Topless comes off a lot more mauve than I thought it would, which I really prefer, like, more berry kind of mauve tones because I'm just, I'm so pale that if I'm not careful, anything that's too nude will make me look dead. All right, and now let's try Jaber. Okay, so this is a more brown mauve, but it's still really pretty. And it's got, um, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's got a little bit of a, like, purple undertone. So here are the three liquid lipsticks. Um, like I said, they come off super opaque. I mean, it was instant pigment. They feel creamy on my hand, but we'll see how the wear goes. But so far, swatch-wise, I am impressed with this line. Swatches are done. Let's start slapping some of this on my face to see how they do. Just gonna zoom you in. I've got y'all zoomed in. And if you're thinking, Nikki, those are some bold ass brows, it's because they are. If you are new to my channel, I always start off with brows, then eyes, then the rest of the face. I do my brows pretty aggressively because once I finish my eyeshadow and put my foundation on, they kind of die down. So I put them on a little more than I want them to be there. <laughs> that way something still shows up once my face is done. Fair, um, when I look at this color story, I just see a winged liner and lashes. So what I'm gonna do, every time I attempt to do a winged liner, I grab some good old tape, place it on the back of my hand first, peel it off, and then I put it on my lower lash line. I do this because if you put the tape directly on your skin, especially um, on a sensitive area like the eye, it's gonna take off a few layers if you're not careful. So I do try to die down the like tackiness of the tape, but yet there's still enough to where it's gonna stay still while I do my eye makeup. So as you can see, I lined it up with my lower lash line, and this is gonna help me have a really clean line right here, and it's gonna help me do my winged liner. You'll see. I take as many shortcuts as I can whenever I do makeup. And always do that before you put down any eye primer. I'm using my Urban Decay Makeup Primer Potion as always. But do the tape first because if you do your eye primer and then the tape, the tape is going to have a hard time sticking to your skin. So I always do that step first. All right, honey bunny, we are ready to rock and roll. With my fluffy Alamar Cosmetics brush, I'm going to dip into, let's do streaking as our base color. I'm going to start by just putting this pretty high up on the lid because it's going to be just my overall transition color for everything. So I'm just going to fluff it out pretty much all over. Not all over, but all over the crease. You know what I'm saying? That way everything will blend out pretty easily. This has some pretty good pigment. Um, it's not coming up too, too crazy on camera, but in person it's like just the right amount of color to get down, but you're still able to blend it out pretty easily. I'm already done blending. So far, the initial transition color is pretty baller. Next up, I'm going to go in with a slightly smaller but still fluffy brush. We're gonna dip into butt naked. <laughs> I love the shade names in this palette. I mean, it's nudie patootie. It's about being naked and streaking. I just love how cohesive the overall theme of this palette is. They did a really good job just designing the overall theme. So I'm keeping this slightly lower in the crease and I'm just gonna kind of, I mean, blend it out. Cause I always like to start off with the lightest color, really blown out and then get a slightly dark, darker color and go in a little bit and a darker color and go in a little bit because that's the best way for me to achieve a good smoky eye look. We're just gonna kind of fluff it out on the tail end here and then whatever's left over on my first Alamar brush, I am just running it across the two to make sure everything blends out. And then with an even smaller but still fluffy brush, I'm gonna dip into Nakey Nakey over here. And then this one we're going to keep on the outer corner because we want the outer corner to be nice and dark and sultry. And then we're just gonna barely blend it over into everything else. So I'm just going to tap this on the outer corner. Make sure that area is nice and dark. These have the perfect amount of pigment, if that makes sense, because there are some eyeshadows where, I mean, they're just, they're too pigmented, they're too bold, and even if you just barely dip your brush into it, if the color goes on 
too dark and too quickly, you're gonna be sitting there trying to blend it out for 30 minutes. So these have, in my opinion, just enough pigment to get the job done, but you can also blend out very easily. <laughs> and then whatever's left over on the brush, we're just going to barely fluff it inward to make sure everything is blended out. And just like that, I'm done. I'm probably gonna get tired of hearing it, but these, I mean, these blend out so easily and so quickly that even while I am talking my head off during this, I am breezing through this eye look. We're already ready for the cut crease, so I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape, put some on the back of my hand. We're just gonna take a flat, rounded definer brush that has some cat hair in it, and we're just gonna dip the brush in there, make sure it's nice and saturated, and crash course on cut crease. So what I do is I put a little bit on the very edge of my lashes here, and then I open my eyes and look around a little bit and make sure that, come on, There we go, that they connect. <laughs> it's a little messy, but this gives me a kind of a general idea of where my line needs to be. Because if I'm looking at you all nice and sultry, you can see my lid and you can see all the beautiful artistry I've done. But if I just straight up open my eyes and look at you normally, everything is covered. So I try to find the natural line that I need. Now all we do is start on the inner corner and connect the dots. And then we just fill it in. And then once we get towards the outer edge, I'm just kind of fanning it out because I don't want to cover the entire lid with concealer because I want a gradient effect between the shimmer and the outer corner right there. And then I'm just going back with a flat definer brush. I'm dipping into Butt Naked and I am cleaning up that messy little line that I made. I mean, I didn't make a perfect line in the beginning, but it's a good frame of reference, you know? And just like that, it's like it never happened. Okay, let's see how these shimmers perform. I think I want to dip into Topless right here because it's got, I mean, it's it's a pinky tone. I don't normally do pink on the lid, but I am kind of feeling it today. I'm gonna dip in with my claw and hopefully I can fill it in enough. Let's see, whoo, ooh. Ooh, that is pretty. I'm gonna try my best to get close to the line without going over. And then I am just tapping whatever's left on my finger on the outer edge to blend those two. I'm gonna take a different flat definer and dip into topless. And then I'm just gonna to get close to the edge. Wow, even with a brush, these uh, shimmers apply very, very well. Woo, Nelly. Mm -hmm. This, I am liking this palette a lot. Uh, I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but this has such a pretty, just gold, almost kind of tangerine undertone. It is so pretty. Alrighty, now let's potentially ruin this whole look. I am going to attempt to do a winged liner, and I'm gonna make it kind of thick because I'm probably going to put false lashes on. I just feel like this is a false lash look. I don't know. Having a very soft kind of understated eye look and then just amping it up with fake lashes, I love doing that. It's my jam, it's my go-to. A few moments later. I think I put the tape too low. Yep, I did. I totally put the tape too low on the lash lines. That's okay, all is not lost. Um, I'm going to uh, take this off. I'm going to just clean this up a little bit and then I'm going to reapply the tape and try that again. Hopefully, I won't ruin all of this. Okay, I cleaned that up just a little bit. I'm gonna have it dry. I'm gonna reapply the tape and try again. Makeup is all about trial and error. Nobody's perfect, especially me. Round two. Grab tape. Put it on the back of your hand first so it's not so sticky. And we are gonna get in there like swimwear this time. Mucho better. You really gotta make sure that that's pressed in because you don't want your eyeliner to bleed underneath the tape line. But I really can't talk while I'm doing this, obviously, because I messed up the first time, so bear with me. Make sure <laughs> that um, that dries completely before removing the tape because I have found that if it's still wet, 
and you try to remove the tape, it's going to just try to seep down into all of those wrinkles that we try to hide. So make sure it's nice and dry. Let's see how we did that time. Ooh, girl. Yes, I could carve a Thanksgiving turkey without wing liner. Oh, that's sharp. Ooh, what do y'all think? It's, I mean, it's subtle, but it's so pretty. I love this eye look. All right, I'm going to go wash, rinse, and repeat on this eye and do the rest of my face, and then I will come back and do lip swatches for y'all. Alrighty, I have got the rest of my face on. I've got the other eye done. I added some falsies. I'm telling y'all, when in doubt, lash it out. Throw on some falsies and it will amp up any look, even a very generic, neutral ass look like this. Just, oh my God, I love, 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 love the way this turned out. Okay, let's finish off the eyes. That way we can do our lip swatches. With a fluffy definer brush, I am just going to dip into butt naked here. And I'm just gonna run that along the lower lash line to smoke it out and kind of bring everything together. And with a tiny brush here, I am going to dip into Stark. And we're gonna highlight the brow bone. Ooh, that is a good highlight color. And the inner corner. And since this is such a like sultry look, I am going to line my waterline with a black liner. I swear that always makes such a difference with an eye look. And then of course, don't forget about your baby lashes. My uh, liquid eyeliner, the pen busted while I was doing the inner corner. So the inner corner right there looks pretty messy, but this side looks great. All right, liquid lipstick time. I am actually pretty excited about this because these come out different just slightly from what they do in tube like this this looks just tan and boring but it's not so i am really excited to see how these look on my skin so the first one i'm trying on my lips is nakey nakey all right scoot it in just a bit so let's see how she does that is very nude <laughs> mm, i don't know the applicator is great the smell is nice, the formula is very soft, almost kind of cushy, so it goes on very easily. But this color, my skin tone, I, I don't know. Woo, that is nude. Okay, so this is Nakey Nakey. Um, Formula-wise, it's very comfortable, very soft, it dries down matte very quickly. Um, it was very easy to apply, I was able to get really nice, you know, precise lines on my lips, that way I was able to carve out my lip shape. You know, this color, it's not bad. This color isn't bad on me, which I was honestly expecting to not like this color, but it's growing on me. All right, that's the best I could do without removing all of my foundation. So next up, we have Topless. I like the way these smell. They're not like sickly sweet, like cotton candy, like a lot of companies are. It's a really nice, I don't know, kind of fruity smell. I like the scent of these a lot. It's so strange that a matte liquid lipstick would go on feeling this creamy but dry down matte. These are a really interesting formula. And here is Topless, and this is definitely more at my alley. It's it's still pretty nude, but it's got a nice pink, I don't wanna say peach undertone, but it's got uh, a little bit of something there. But it's a little pink, a little peach, a little brown. It's honestly, it's a good mixture of undertones. I, mm, I like Topless. And this is already completely dried down matte, but it's still comfortable, like it's not, it's not tacky and it's not crusty. I'll have to wear one of these for a few hours to see how it feels after a while, but initially, these are some really, really comfortable liquid lipsticks. I tried to reapply a little bit of foundation on my lips because I basically removed all of it. And last, but certainly not least, we have Jaybird. Ooh, that is pretty. I went a little too crazy <laughs> with the shape on top because I'm trying to compensate for my missing foundation. Ooh, that is so pretty. Pretty. I don't know if I like this or topless better, but ooh, I mean this has more of a brown undertone, but especially for fall, I feel like it is a great color. So initial thoughts on the liquid lipsticks, they're very easy to apply, they're very soft and lush and cushy feeling whenever you're putting them on, but they dry down completely matte. But not in a bad way, per se, I mean they're, they're liquid lipsticks, and almost all liquid lipsticks dry down matte, but they... I mean, they're great. <sighs> mm -hmm. Okay, um, 
let's do a price breakdown of everything real quick and then I'll talk about whether or not it's worth your money. For the actual PR bundle with the PR box, I snagged this while it was on sale for $36 in the beginning of November. Since then, I do believe Laura Lee has said that they are out of the actual PR boxes, but they are still going to do the nudie patootie bundle just without the box. So you still get all four products just without this cute little package. So for this package, I paid $36 and I actually um, found a coupon code which made the shipping basically free for this. So even including shipping, I got all of this for $36, which is bananas because the nudie patootie palette alone is $45. So for $36, I got a $45 palette and three liquid lipsticks and the liquid lipsticks are $16 a piece. So according to my calculator, um, the whole bundle is worth $93 retail. And I got it for 36 bucks. That is a bargain. That's an awesome value. I do believe she said that the uh, nudie patootie bundle, so just the palette and lip lipsticks, whenever they come back in stock, it's going to be $31 since it doesn't come with the box. She shaved off five bucks, so it will be $31. I think and I hope that she will have the nudie patootie bundle back in stock for Black Friday, which is why I wanted to put this video up before Black Friday, that way in case y'all want to do any shopping and in case any of this is back in stock, I can let y'all know if it's worth your money. For the Nudie Patootie eyeshadow palette, is this worth on its own $45? Initially, to me, that does sound kind of steep for 16 colors. However, there are so many factors in this that make it worth it to me. First off, the color story. I mean, it all almost looks the same, but you can honestly do so many different neutral eye looks with this. I can tell you right now, this will become an everyday palette for me. And I mean, I can use this for special events. I know a ton of people did this for like, you know, their wedding day. It looks so basic, but it's such a necessity. So for $45 for the color story, for the blendability, these blended out so easily. It was, I mean, it was ridiculous how quickly I was able to do this eye look even while I was talking my butt off. The blendability is amazing, the pigmentation is amazing, it has a great color payoff but without being too much, that way you're able to blend it out easily. If you can snag this on any type of sale, 100% get it. Even if it's not on sale, if you can get like free shipping or something, absolutely try it out. And you know what, even if it is full price and you do have to pay free shipping, if you've got the money and you want to purchase this, you will not regret it. And this is honestly a big palette. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. So $45 sounds like a lot, but it's worth it. Liquid lipsticks. I am kind of weird about lippies. I, I am not like a big lipstick, liquid lipstick, anything kind of person. So to me, $16 it does sound a little pricey for a single unit. However, she has a ton of different bundles on her website. Not just the nudie patootie, but she even has like, you know, lip bundles and stuff like that. If you get it in a bundle, I think it's worth it. If you get it on sale, I think it's worth it. Although it's steep, I don't think you'll regret it. These are very easy to put on. They feel very comfortable. I honestly, I can't feel that I'm wearing a liquid lipstick right now, which is really, really bizarre because I almost, I, it almost always feels like a film on my lips, but this is so comfortable. It almost feels like a lipstick, just like a regular velvet cushy lipstick, not a dry matte liquid lipstick very comfortable. Out of the three, I think Topless is my favorite, followed by Jaybird and then Nakey Nakey. Nakey Nakey isn't bad, it's just really nude for my taste, but since I have this now, I'm going to try to use it more often. Congratulations to Laura Lee. Her makeup, honestly, it's awesome. It feels better than most other brands. It's crazy to say, but I mean, she she did the damn thing. These are amazing. The formulas are amazing. The colors, I just, I'm obsessed. I love it. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. I am so happy to be back. I'm sorry if I seem kind of just tired and sluggish, but that's because I'm tired and sluggish. I'm still trying to get back in the swing of things. Life has been crazy, but I miss makeup and I miss y'all, so I am back at it with a win, which I am super excited about. So I love y'all. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!